If you wanted to etch into your block of timber so that it would come out in on the laser cutter, um, what we need to do is change our um, image from an outline to no out uh, to no stroke, and we want to change our fill to RGB black. Now, what that's going to do is rather than cut around the edge, is it's going to etch it. So the laser cutter has three functions: it either engraves cuts or etches. If it's drawn in red it will cut, black it will etch and blue will do an engraving line. So now that we have that um, marked out in black what I can do is measure the height of my material which is 34 millimeters. I can press file, print on Adobe Illustrator open up the laser template again and you'll see your image now in black on the laser um, program. What I'm going to do is move my image up into the top corner of my screen and placing my material in that position check to see that it's in the right position so to do that we can use the um, focus view tool coming across onto the edge of where my image is clicking focus view will bring the laser across and as you can see that's on the timber um, and will fit onto my piece of timber so it's ready to, to laser cut the next thing I need to be sure of is that I put the right settings in so clicking on the settings bar going to material database I'm cutting a natural tim natural wood this time it is a soft wood and the soft wood is called pine now I just measured my material it is 34 millimeters thick so it's very important that I type in 34 and as I want this to be a deep engraving I'm actually going to up the um, power that's put into the raster etching and clicking OK can press play make sure that you have the dust extractor on when I press play this time you'll notice the bed on the laser cutter will lower down to the desired height and the etching will begin
be able to suck down 